Hey, welcome back to the three season room or the workout room. Uh, so today we're going to take advantage of planned obsolescence and other people's stupidity. So went on the seedier portions of the internet, found this. This is a Nordic track flex mill 16, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it came like this in pieces like that over there. And this here, it's got some broken bits and bobs and we look down here, we can see that, uh, so what we have is a bunch of uh, no good wires. No good rotten stinking wires. We got frayed ends, we're gonna have shorts and intermittent contacts. Now these are all data wires for the most part. There's a little bit of power ground. Uh, but uh, the ends are still good. And because of that, we're gonna go ahead and chop out this section. What we're going to solder in. Some new wires, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a thousand dollar treadmill for 50 bucks. Stay tuned. Okay, so check this out. I went to, to take this off, and it's essentially registered machine. Here, it's real easy. Just take a photo of this, go online, and now you're now you're registered. And then what's underneath it? But huh, another go register. Register at fit.com, and this one's much harder to get off. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, I'm gonna get you. Oh. Uh, Many minutes later. <laughs> uh, ta da! Alright. Put that back. You can get it off. Good, good, good. But <laughs> it won't even let you keep the screen protector on anymore. I used to keep these on as long as I could to kind of protect it. But uh, no more, I guess. Here's what we're gonna do we got all of our wires stripped back. And we're gonna, we're gonna pre solder the ends. What does that mean? We just put a little solder here on our nice hot iron. Just kind of coat each of these ends. So we're doing this to make our lives easier in a few minutes when we join everything together. The the pre the solder on here is going to kind of want to flow into the solder that we put on the other ends, and it just makes everything uh, join up much uh, much more easily than it would otherwise. So we just put a little solder, run it up. When it gets hot enough, it'll flow. Um, I don't like having all that extra on there, but criminy, that's what I get for using cheap solder that you, you find wherever you find it. I'll just put the ends in here so that way I don't have to, you know, I don't, most people have an issue like these things because they don't have three hands. If you got three hands, you really don't need this, but for the rest of us normal people, we need it. But like I said, if you got three hands, th 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 ignore this part. This isn't for you. Heck, if you got three hands, I'm not sure why you're even watching this YouTube video. I feel like you can make money hand over fist, doing whatever you want to do, showing off that third hand. Alright, so now we got to join these ends together. So we take our pre-soldered end to our other pre-soldered end. I'm trying to get out of your way here. Hmm. Uh, let's try it again. So, just touch them both to the soldering iron tip till you see both of the, the solder on both of them start to flow a little bit. Wait for it to cool, and you're connected. Simple as that. Ah, well one short. Poop. All right, I'll be back. We're going to use this shrink wrap. So we've cut it a little longer than our joint, place it in the center, and then for extra style points, a little, little heat source here, Probably safer to use a blow dryer or something, but uh, you know, live dangerously, I always say. So we want to give some thought as to what comes next, because once we start attaching these ends to this, we're going to run into issues of being able to get our shrink wrap on. So we want to put all of our individual shrink wrap onto these lines and tuck them back here where they're out of the way. Then we need to give some thought to how we're we going to do this. Are we just going to duct tape this whole thing? Or, if you got it, large thing of shrink tube around everything. All right, now comes the part where you're going to want to get yourself a good night's sleep. You're going to want to maybe get a good lunch in, a cat nap, I don't know. But you're going to need to make sure that the colors match up with the colors. So orange to orange, purple, white. You, you, oh, come on, you get the idea. You're, you're all smart people. But yeah, don't want to switch these up, otherwise things will get 
It'll go poof, up in fire and smoke and death. All right, there she is, all done up and ready to go. Well, almost. We have to put some of these bigger ones so we can make that look pretty. Okay, quick dummy check. Machine's turned off, screen's plugged in, earth, wire's grounded to earth, and, well, we have a dummy, this guy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, that was anticlimactic. All right, well, let's turn it on. Ah. Ooh, ooh, hey! <laughs> Crazy like a fox. What? Is it? A, it's using Android OS? <laughs> So, Fit Live, all right. It looks like that's working. I'm liking it, I'm liking it a lot. So that powered on, that's good news. Nothing exploded, also good news. So, next step, we need to make sure, oh, that I was gonna say, right there, safety key removed. All right, they're trying to block the dummy. The dummy will persist with a chisel. Ah. <laughs> All right, give me a moment, I need two hands. Success! All right, we have triumphed over the best safety packaging they could, China could throw at us. All right, here we go. Safety key on. All right, get started. Is this touch screen? Oh, it's a touch screen. English, yes. Standard or metric? Of course, standard, come on. Start workout. I heard something click over here. Oh, it's working! <laughs> All right, puppy, you wanna go for a run? Can we go faster? How do we go faster? Is it this button? Nine miles an hour. Make it so. Incline to nine. <laughs> Wait, there are fans? There are fans? Yes, fan. Yes, fan. Make it faster. Oh! Ah! Turn it down, turn it down. Oh, oh that's bad. So I thought as long as uh, we had this thing off and, you know, why not tear it apart? Uh, for those uninitiated, that is the back. Uh, on the other side of this is the screen. So, the fan that we heard, well, this is why. Broke busted mount. Yeah. yeah. So there's the other piece that went like so. Um, I'm thinking we could either, we can glue it, which probably will fail, or we can make a new one. Uh, I'm thinking we make the new one. All right. So, fixed, right? Yeah. Check it out, I think this is hilarious, right? They put Loctite on the bolt. It came from the factory like that. That's a nice touch, right? You're thinking, okay, they don't want it to back out. But if you look, once that's in there, it goes right past the threads. There's no Loctite anymore. I mean, these th they'll back out and they'll become loose and just jangly. Is it working? Yeah. 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 Yeah.